Unquestionably, one of the most well-known and adored royal families in the world is the British royal family. Every member of the family, from Queen Elizabeth II to her adorable offspring, has captivated the world's attention in a special manner. However, there are other royal families around the globe who may not have the riches that usually come with the title of royalty, but are greatly admired and respected in their own country and around the world. Not all royal families are especially affluent in contrast to the British royal family, and some have faced financial hardships and money issues similar to what you and I would have. With all that being said, they are still royalty and have access to many luxuries the average citizen doesn't. In today's video, we will take a look at some of the poorest royal families that you never knew about. From how much they receive from the government to how they spend it. Let's get started. Number 5. The Royal Family of Sweden. The House of Bernadotte. King Carl Gustav, who assumed the throne in 1973 at the age of 27, succeeded his grandfather, King Gustav VI Adolf. Unfortunately, shortly after his birth, Prince Gustav Adolf died in an aircraft accident, making King Carl XVI Gustav the rightful successor. The 73-year-old monarch is estimated to be only worth $62 million. Yes, I said that only $62 million. However, when it comes to wealth in Europe, the monarchy comes in sixth. Although Carl Gustav and his wife Queen Sylvia live at the slightly smaller Drottningholm Palace, they have access to Stockholm's magnificent 600-room royal palace. According to reports, they get an $11.8 million yearly salary from the government. The family also owns a variety of estates for itself, notably Saladin Palace, which is situated on the Baltic island and serves as their official vacation home. They also have access to a French mansion and a ski lodge in the Swedish border town of Jantland. Number 4. The Denmark Royal Family the Danish royal family is not particularly wealthy despite owning castles, expensive cars, and priceless jewelry. Here was me thinking you had to be rich to own a castle. There is hope for me yet. His 79-year-old monarch, Margaret II, is estimated to be worth 35.5 million euros. Queen Margaret II, who was born in 1940, has ruled Denmark since 1972. Her son, Crown Prince Frederick, who was born in 1968 and is a descendant of Gorm the Old and Harold Bluetooth, who were born about the year 900, will become the future king. Prince Frederick's son Christian, who was born in 2005, will continue the line. In contrast to other royal families in Europe, the Danish royal family is not very wealthy. Their main source of revenue is the appanage royal provisions that the Danish parliament yearly gives as a part of the state budget. They use $12 million in direct royal provisions to fund their annual direct costs, which include a large amount for staff salaries. Interestingly, the royals receive state reimbursement for the VAT they have paid, making their purchases of goods and services, including automobiles, less expensive than those of the typical Danish citizen. And onto the state-owned royal residences, they are under the management of agents, which makes them available to the reigning monarch. The children of the royal family attend conventional public schools, while the adults regularly go out to eat, shop, or ride bicycles in the street like any other Dane. Number 3. The Royal Family of Norway the Norwegian royal family lives the simplest lifestyle compared to other European royal families, and its monarch is one of the world's poorest heads of state. The informal dress of the Norwegian royal family distinguishes them from other aristocrats, even on formal occasions. In addition, they make an effort to support themselves independently, rather than depend on government aid. For instance, Prince Harkin and the band work together to create a holiday hit. Due to the song's popularity, the prince donated all of the partnership's earnings to charity out of respect for his people. Before they could live together, the lovely royal couple had to go through a lot. The two were one of the monarch's most enduring couples, in fact, Harold and Sonia had the same birthday. The Norwegian royal family leads a life that is far less lavish than that of other royal families throughout the world since Norway is widely regarded as having one of the world's least prosperous kingdoms. Currently, the wealth of Norway's royal family is estimated to amount to $30 million. According to Yavu News, the maintenance of the monarchy is estimated to cost the state an annual sum of 72.3 million United States dollars. This amount is said to cover their personal protection as well as the costs associated with the official royal residence. These statistics are a far cry from those that are touted by wealthy royal families. According to Brightside, unlike other royal families who make a big deal about their protection, their encourages, and their exclusive access to certain things, the Norwegian royal family has been seen riding public transportation and even gets on standard domestic flights, just like everyone else. When traveling by plane or rail in Norway, it is not unusual to find yourself seated next to a prince. As a result of the low prevalence of private education in Norway, Crown Prince Hakan and Princess Martha Louise followed the same educational path as the rest of the population and attended regular public schools. 
Princess Ingrid Alexandra, who is currently the second in line to the throne of Norway, had her education in a public institution. Number 2. The Royal Family of Belgium This royal family takes pleasure in its ties to its community, culture, and its $12.4 million net worth is an example of how they differ largely to other royal families. The royal family has influenced national politics and helped unite the nation in recent times. King Philip of Belgium is the least wealthy of Europe's ten rulers. The government pays for all of King Philip's direct expenses in Belgium. This includes travel, food, accommodation, and any other endeavors. The government also provides funding for additional support services. The Royal Trust, an autonomous public institution with its own budget, owns Belgian royal assets. Interestingly, the Trust's assets cannot ever be sold. Philip was the oldest of Albert II's three children and became the sixth King of Belgium in 1993. He had his early schooling in both Flemish and French before enrolling in the Royal Military Academy and pursuing studies overseas at Trinity College, Oxford, and Stanford University, where he got a master's degree in political science. He then got training to become a pilot and a paratrooper. He went on to become a vice admiral in the Belgian Navy and a lieutenant general in the Belgian Army. It was expected that Philip would replace King Baudouin I when he passed away in 1993. However, Philip was unsure about whether to ascend to the throne, which led others to think that Philip, who was 33 and single at the time, wasn't yet prepared to govern the nation. Philip traveled extensively while serving as the honorary head of the Belgian Foreign Trade Board beginning in 1993. He also served as head of the National, now Federal, Council for Sustainable Development. He was chosen to serve in the Belgian Senate in June 1994 and July 2013 he was officially announced as monarch. Number 1. The Royal Family of Spain in a first for the country and a highly unusual move among royalty globally, King Philip VI of Spain made a list of his assets public. He has held the kingdom since July 2014 and is the son of the late King Juan Carlos I. In an effort to be honest and transparent with his people, King Philip claims he decided to disclose the full extent of his income and the sources of it as part of a transparency exercise. Despite excluding the assets of his wife, Queen Letizia, the monarch's overall fortune is unexpectedly modest and would not even place him among the top 100 richest people in Spain. Philip VI may actually be the poorest monarch in all of Europe. It turns out that the entire value of all of his assets is around 2.5 million euros. The vast majority is held in cash, current accounts, or investments. However, the value of his personal belongings, which includes his jewelry collection, comes to just under 306,000 euros. This takes into account his salary in addition to the funding from the state that he receives for his role as an ambassador, which is necessary to pay for staff costs and other professional expenses. There is not a single cent of his wealth that is kept in a foreign country, he has all of his accounts and assets in Spain. During the previous 25 years, Philip served first as the Prince of Asturias and then as the King of Spain, which brought him a total compensation of almost 4 million euros. After taking into account all of his financial responsibilities, the Spanish monarch's net worth is quite low, and he does not even have a pension. Nevertheless, these families still enjoy the benefit of sleeping on a full stomach and living in big houses with waiters and butlers at their call. Anyways, what do you think of these royal families' somewhat modest living compared to other royal families? If you like this video, check out the next one on screen.